previously on Yaxa 3 Remastered. We are better trampling, guys. Ah, oh, getting blood all over my nice. Oh, I just kicked a table into it, dude. <laughs> Kick ass. Let's go. And now back to Yaxa. Hey, Nico. Yeah? What's that? What's what? Tiger drop. Oh. Sneako B, back with some more Yaxa 3 Remastered. When we last left off, we finally reunited with our friend Ricky after 83 years. And of course, he might be an old man now, but it's all right, because nobody actually really ages in this game. Gary has looked the same since fucking Yakuza 0. Well, actually, I guess more like Kwame 1. You know, it's been like probably like six years, I think, since that game. I think. Fuck, how much time has passed that game? I think it's been a while, though. And I think it looks exactly the same, even in Yaxa 6. Just my clothes are a little less loose-fitting. But we went and beat the shit out of Kanda. And turns out he was not, in fact, the traitor in the Tojo clan. Because of course he's not. It's going to be the other guy. Right now, we think it's Hamazaki, who is the other cra seemingly crazy guy. Nope, it's going to be the Mr. Suave Cool Pants, right? He has a much more uh, last boss feel than the other dude. But I kind of like it. We just kind of ran in there. We're like, this guy's got to be the traitor. Just beat the shit out of him. And he's like, dude, stop me. I'm like, oh, okay. Then <laughs> we leave. As he lies there seemingly dead on the floor. But I did like the, uh, I mean, one, just fighting through with Ricky was fun. But also just uh, the bonding with Ricky there. We're also going out to eat. Even if it did cost me 60,000 yen. And the scene with the tattoo. I thought that was really cool. Now they both share the same ink, right? We're like blood brothers, which does make me slightly nervous. I feel like that just raises potential death flags a bit. But hopefully, Ricky, uh, if that happens, hopefully it won't happen for like three games. <laughs> I like Ricky. I think he's cool. I think he's a really cool addition to the team. Actually, in a lot of ways, he just kind of reminds me a bit of Shinji, too. Just like curious little buddy who just wants to, who takes a lot after him. But we did manage to finish one of the sub stories I have to do with him. There's only one more. Um, and I think I actually have to progress a bit further before that one also gets unlocked. So, uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Mr. L said, are we not going to talk about the fact that Miyu and Kiryu most likely smashed literally seconds after finding out her son was basically kidnapped and saved? <laughs> Fuck yeah. What? Think they're just going to walk that shit off? No, man. They're all hot and horny after that crap. I like how the son basically like disappears after that cussing too. She's like, I saved you son. Like, Yay. And then like. Then it's like face to black and he's gone. And it's like, what do you do? Walk home? <laughs> well, son, I guess we found you and saved you. All right, you can run, walk home now. And then immediately walks off screen. He's kidnapped by the gang again. Ah, back. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Oh. All right, let's go make sweet, sexy love. Oh, yeah. This is the greatest parents ever. Meanwhile, the orphans left at home. They're at... They're back there fucking eating each other. Chaos ensued. They're muggy people on the streets. Nothing but good daddying and mommying here in these games. Yep. May I one day be as good of a parent as Miyu and freaking Kiryu are. <laughs> uh, but Mr. L, thank you so much for pointing out that very important and significant factoid. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. God, seriously, he's curious that so much fucking sex in this game. He's gonna have even more. He's got five more girls to fuck before this is over. All right, another thing you guys told me uh, in regards to what I was asking about uh, heat actions and whether uh, I if can I use the same heat action and get uh, uh, penalized or get d uh, diminishing effects because uh, it looked like from what I could tell like that wasn't the case here turns out I was actually right that is actually not the case in this game that only starts happening uh, from Yaxa 4 onward so in this game I basically can do the same amount of damage with my heat action uh, that I did the first time so that's pretty good uh, you guys said they sort of balance this out a bit by making heat actions not do maybe as much damage in this game. While later games, when you first do a heat action, it'll do a ton of damage. And then afterwards, it doesn't do much damage. So, uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. I've definitely noticed that the bosses in particular seem like they really tank hits a lot more than maybe even the other games. Like, they are super tanky. Not just, like, the health, but the fact that they just don't take a lot of damage when you hit them. Even when you're doing your heat actions. Also, you guys did say, apparently, I can Kamaki parry things like uh, guys like carrying furniture and stuff. That shit is actually parryable. Holy shit. Wow. Wow, I can parry a lot of things. A lot more than I realized. And you guys also point out how it's sort of become clear that the Nishikiyama family, ever since the death of Nishiki, has just continued to, like, spiral downwards, right? I mean, Shindo was also not a great guy, but... Like, I feel like Kanda's worse. <laughs> like, a lot worse than even Shindo was. It's just, like, this spiraling, like, his his family just cannot seem to turn itself around. I'm hoping in later games, if his family continues and, you know, is we don't see, like, an end to it, 
that like somebody comes around to actually make it like to sort of redeem them, you know? And then Chern redeemed Nishiki. I'm still waiting on that shit. I mean, I guess technically he sort of redeemed himself at the end of the story, but you know, whatever. Fuck that. Gotta redeem his image and his legacy. Okay. So, uh, where are we going? We're going, uh, to Don Quixote first. Yeah. Gonna go buy you a, I don't know, a miniature cat. A miniature lucky cat that waves at you and also spits out quarters. Wow, it seemed more incredible than I was expecting. Sure, a lot of teenagers in there. Yeah, it's pretty popular with the younger crowd. Anyway, I think I'll wait out here. Don't buy any more than you're willing to carry, okay? And don't borrow any more of my money. Of course not. I'll be back in a bit. Oh my god. Sorry to keep you waiting out here, Nikki. Looks like you bought the entire store. Heh, <laughs> guess I got a little, got kind of carried away. But it was also cheap. I, I couldn't help it. I wanted to have some souvenirs to the kids back at the orphanage. You did. Really appreciate that, Rikia. Rikia is awesome, dude. That nah, was nothing. I love it. I love it. Like every like one of Kiryu's friends, at some point, right when they first meet, he always beats the shit out of them, <laughs> and then afterwards they're the best of buddies. Seriously, it's been like that with every person he's ever met. Even Haruka, when he four adopted her, they had to fight. Haruka beat his ass, and he's like, "You're strong enough to be my daughter." Hell yeah, I am. And then they wrote up the papers. Anyway, there's somewhere I could dump all this stuff till we uh, head home for the night. Maybe one of them coin lockers. Oh yeah, there's some lockers just down the street, though I've opened almost all of them. <laughs> I've got the I've got the key for almost everyone. Sweet, lead the way. Alright, I'm gonna leave you to carry all that shit. Just run through some dudes. Brah! God, it's really funny look just look at this. I say, oh, watch it, watch him running, but also watch as people just spawn in front of me that were not there. And then look at this one. Oh wait, where's everybody? And that's your brah! <laughs> that's still like bleh. It's just ridiculous. Oh my god. That's rust. <laughs> the ro the roads are completely sanctioned off here. Ah, I know. Here we are. Great, just give me a sec. Yeah, I like how we went from like marveling over the hilarity of uh the dragon engine physics to now stepping back to Yaxa 3 and now just marveling over the hilarity of NPC spawning and uh behavior. I'll settle, Nikki. So we're done with shopping. Look at the trip. What now? Uh, fuck it. Keep going, dude. Guess we're going to go through here some more. You anywhere else you want to go? Hell yeah. Get, get me on the roof of that monstrosity over there. Huh? The Millennium Tower. That's got to be like the tallest building in the world, right? I want to see how Tokyo looks from up there. I'm sure we can do that. The cops are all over the place. Somebody died there, remember? My best friend. Guess they would be, huh? I'm surprised after what happened. Sorry about all this, sneaky. Got so caught up in my hype that I never stopped and thought about what you were going through. It's okay, Rick. Yeah. Hey, now why don't we go someplace quieter? Hmm? Why? I mean, I never met this Kashiwagi son personally, but he was real important to you. Right, Nikki? Yeah. And it's settled. Anyone who's important in your eyes is important in my eyes, too. Come on, I grab some beer over at Don Quixote. Why don't we sit down and crack him open and pay tribute to Kashiwagi son? Rick, yeah. How about it, Nikki? Sure. That sounds nice. Oh my god, dude. Rick is up. Bamf! I love this man already. Public Park 3 is a pretty quiet place. Okay. Uh, I don't see any new things that popped up, so just keep going. Not again. Not again. It's interesting how it seems just like it's optional, so I could I could actually part ways with him and just like go on with Not the main again. story. What the hell would I want to do that? Miss out all this great bonding. <laughs> Sitting on the swings, just get trashed. <laughs> just start swinging around like assholes. <laughs> Look at me. Look how high I go. Look where I got. Now I got high. Uh, 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 come on, motherfucker. <laughs> We're just like pumping our legs. Okay, okay, it's not going too high. No, I'm not. Go higher this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loops all the way over, smashed into a railing. Looks over to the side. Max over there taking the picture of this, and he's like, oh, yeah, I just found my next big scoop. Damn it. Max just learned a new skill. I'm pissed. Oh, fuck. That's actually right. There's actually need to go do that. I should be I should be able to do that. Mac did tell me about a place in the southeast. I wonder if I can do it if I'm hanging out with Rikio. Kashiwagi san. Nikki. What's up? What kind of guy was Kashiwagi san? Kashiwagi, he. He knew what my adopted father, Kazama san, stood for. Kept the Kazama family legacy alive when he took over as their second patriarch. Honestly, Kashiwagi san was. Uh. Great at leading from the shadows. Great at hiding in the shadows. <laughs> leading, man. Great at leading from the shadows. He didn't really like being at the center of attention. But I can't tell you how many times he saved my life. 
perhaps also thanks to Kashiwagi's son that Tiger was able to take control of the Tosho despite being so young. He was a priceless asset to the clan. Wow. I always figured he was amazing, but never knew just how much. He's also got a badass scar. This was sporting for fucking three games. Amazing. Yeah? Yeah, I guess so. I was especially in awe of. Uh, how much he loved cold noodles. How level-headed he was. <laughs> it's really funny, but I, I kind of like this moment, and I kind of like this serious moment. I kind of want to keep it serious. How level-headed he was. That's why I was cool, man. All right, I want to pay my actual respects to him. He, seriously, the guy survived for Yakuza Zero. Think about that. He went three get No, four games. This motherfucker serves a good send-off. Especially in all of how level-headed he was. I think that's why Kazama-san trusted him so much. Kashiwari-san really lived up to that trust, too. He always kept tensions between families from boiling over. And of course, that made some of the patriarchs think he was soft. Too soft to lead. That's a reputation you want to avoid in this line of work. Even so, you can't just fight people for no reason. You have to choose your battles. Kashiwaga-san knew how to do that better than any anyone. Wow. You must really respect him, Nikki. Also, he loved cold noodles. It was weird. <laughs> we should probably get going, Rukia. Mm-hmm. Anywhere else you want to have in mind? I don't know. That's talking kind of made me sad. <laughs> I know. I'm bummed out, too. Let's get fucked up somewhere. Hey, why don't we go to one of those bikini bars I've heard about? What do you say, Nikki? Seriously? Hell yeah. You can't expect me to leave Tokyo without first getting a taste of the ladies. But, uh, I can go by myself if you really want. Might be for the best. Sorry, I'm not really feeling up to it. Oh, come on, Carrie. Don't be a wet blanket, you asshole. Dude, this is awesome. I'm loving the shit out of this. Come on. <sighs> ah, I figured. My bad, Nikki. I was just trying to cheer you up. Don't worry, Rikia. I'm okay. Go have some fun. But just go, Rikia. Oh, uh, go. And Rikia. Thanks. What? That? Oh, that was nothing, Nikki. Just wish I could have... Uh, could have been more help, you know? Anyway, guess I'll get going. Do you imagine you're on your own? <laughs> oh, totally. I got a pretty good feel for the layout by now. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, there's a bar called New Serena over on Takaiji Street that we're going to be using as our base of operations. Hey there, when you're done wandering. Feel free to give me a call if you have trouble finding it. Yeah. Will do. Catch you later, Nikki. By the way, Nikki, here's a little thank you for showing me around. Zero Jewel? Is that a, is that a gambling thing? Well, later. Ah, oh, dude, I wouldn't want to end yet. Fuck, I loved that. It was amazing. I could have gone a whole chapter just, just dicking around with Rikia. It was really sweet, too. I loved that. Oh, that scene was fucking great. Oh, my God. It was not just characterization for Rikia, but it was also characterization for Kashiwagi. Is that, how fucking often do we actually really get a chance to sit there and, like, mourn and talk about this character that we've been with for a long time, you know? So they just die, and we don't really mention them ever again. <coughs> Ryuji. <coughs> <laughs> Seriously, Ryuji was awesome. I mean, I'm glad you didn't mention him once at least, but I mean, technically, he was also like my you know rival in the last game, so maybe a bit makes a bit more sense. I wouldn't talk about him too much. Hello, oh Dante, carry you. It's me. How things go with Bold Bal Old Baldi? I found him. He was horrible, all right, but he's pretty small time. I don't think he always has the wit to outsmart Kashiwagi's son. Damn it! Yeah, I thought we had a lead. Yes, we weren't as close as we thought. I kind of honestly forgot that, yes, right, Dante was the one that actually sent me after Kanda to begin with. Um, anyway, I'll fill you in. Because that was so long, I had so many sub stories. Anyway, I'll fill you in when I get back. You versus Serena? Yep, Mama-san. Mama said we could use it whenever we want. Just meet me over here, okay? Sure, see you soon. Try not to get too distracted on your way here. Oh, well, it looks like 30 more th sub stories have popped up. Oh my, oh my god, they did! Actually, two. But still. Wait, so what was the... Yeah, what's Zero Jewel? Is that just like a... Is it, oh, that's a gambling item. Yep. Ah, I still have this thing in my inventory. I gotta get out of there. It's cursed. All right, I was gonna see what the fuck's going on over here, too. What is this guy doing? Oh. Emotional man. Hey, lady, can you tell me where Taka Emoto's clan is? Can I even respond? Save the city, I remember. Or the people, for that matter. I was looking for a Moto medical clinic, huh? Just down the road, man. Hey, you said you were looking for Dakimoto's clinic. That's right. Can you help me out? I know where the clinic's at, but what does he need from him? Well, Doc took good care of me in the past. I've been to this, this city 15 years. I'd like to just drop by and say hello. Can you take me there? I'll see he's changed so much. I didn't, don't know which way he's up. As long as you don't go in there and try to kill him. Uh, Take him to Emoto Medical Clinic. Tell him where the clinic's at. Yeah, I'll uh, take him there. 
You got it. Just follow me. You take me there? Hey, I appreciate that, buddy. Oh, he's right behind me. Okay. I was like, where would he go? Did he jump inside me like Final Fantasy VII or some shit? <laughs> Don't call me daddy. Uh, is it this way? Oh, no. I always get these corners mixed up. It's not this corner. It's get out of my way, lady. Uh, it's this one over here. It's got the Kawhi nurse on it. Here it is. Mo Mono Medical Clinic. Really? This place is a, wh a whorehouse now? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but the clinic's on the third floor. Come with me. Yes, Dut. <laughs> You've been a dirty boy, haven't you? A naughty, dirty boy who needs a shot. Hey, Doc. What's, what's it been? 15 years? Well, if it isn't Tatsun, Tatsumi, so you're out of jail now, huh? That's right. Thanks to you. You're right, Doc. It was easy to get out when I learned to keep my head down. Good. G glad to hear it. What exactly did you get out of? Tatsumi here was in the Yakuza, and he was thrown in the slam for some 15 years ago for something trivial. Sounds like that sounds familiar. Well, technically it was for murder, but you know. Got an idea to carry you. Why don't you show Tatsumi around the city? I bet he'll hardly recognize it. No, fuck you. All right, fine. It's a deal. I'll show you around. Appreciate that. I don't even know how any good place to eat anymore. Tell I've traded this guy for I traded Ricky for this guy. Fuck that. So long, Doc. Let's go for a drink, a few drinks next time, huh? On me. I'll take you up on that. Take care now. Uh, where do you want to go, dude? To Miss Lily Tower for in too much trouble. Okay. <laughs> well, that really teleported us. Uh, <laughs> Pretty far over. I wasn't even that close to it. Here we are, the Millennium Tower. For Colossus, huh? It's taking a lot to get it built. There are a lot of rumors about this place. Say some bad stuff went down here. <laughs> Which one? Just now, I heard some people talking about a chopper shooting the hell out of it once. Oh, yeah. I was there for that. There have also been two bombing incidents. Bombing incidents? What's the city coming to? Uh, hey, got a lot of nerve command, city old man. You ain't getting a free pass. Damn it. This castle's time he's leaving town a fucking horse. A hearse. Wait, is he talking to me or to the guy next to me? I don't, I don't know. It's like the only like the way Kira responded if I was talking to him. Ah, oh, fuck you. Crush your head open. Shit, we know you're back in town now. You're gonna pay for this. Sorry about that. Didn't want to get involved in all this. It's fine. So where do you want to go next? Why? Do I don't even know who those guys were? Just ran, just ran, regular passerbys. You want to beat me up? Or were they talking about him? Well, how about Shangri La for old times' sake? Shangri La. Right, if you go straight to, uh, along Thai Boulevard, there should be a high-class brothel over there. Sweet. Let's get fucked. Only well, had sex five times this game. I need to go further. Oh, this place where Majin drove his truck into. I think we're just going to keep reminiscing about previous games. This shangri -La, where's the brothel? It shut down about four years ago. There's a lot going on here. Four years? Was it Was it just four years ago since Kwame won? Where's the joint that some asshole crashed a dump truck into this place? Looks like it's true. What's the point of having a nice building if you can't have fun in it? Where shangri -La had the best brothel in Kamarasha, too. What a disappointment. Mm. Well, Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my bad monster pops out of the fucking mantle. Uh, get out of here, monster. Okay. Yeah, I think I might show up here, you horny son of a bitch. No, they're, they, it is. They're coming after him. I think they're after me, but... The best thing you realize, I'm done with that, you old man. I'm out of business now. I went to this joint, washed my hands of everything. These guys have been after you. Yeah, some stuff happened before I went to prison. Tell me about it afterwards. Don't have both these bastards. I just beat you up. Come on. We got our second wind, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! Ow! Fuck you, dude! That's it, I'm pissed. Oh my god, what the hell? There guys are pissed. Okay, fucking punch you. Oh, what the hell? I think, I, I think a tiger drop whiffed. Because he, like, went underneath me. He low attacked. Fuck you.
Gotta love the tire drop so much. Just as long as it's not used against me. Yeah, I thought we were fresh. You're fresh out of prison. I'm sorry to disgrace our boss. But I did my time. My days as the acts are over. Once and for all. Just, it's just that easy, huh? Well, that's not enough for what you did. If you're not going to leave the city alive, then make sure you leave it dead. We'll get you next time. I was in the Oxford 15 years ago. There was a big war going on just outside the city. I was the big name of the business back then. I had to lead a lot of boys into battle. And then one day, my son was abducted. That day, I abandoned my duty to save my son. Our family ultimately won the war, but we lost a lot of boys out there. All because I wasn't there to lead them. I took responsibility for the war and turned myself in. But the boss cut me off in the family while I was in prison. Only well, natural, I guess. It's Chris, the boss got my brothers killed. There's one more place I'd like to go. Just take me to West Park. The homeless uh, gather pretty sure it's to the north. Okay. What about your son? Is he all right? This West Park? What the hell happened to it? There's all the homeless in their big old tent community. Yeah, it's, uh, well, yeah, through the bathroom or something. It's weird. The Lincoln Conference of Hills should have gone up here by now, but it's still a vacant lot. This is where I met my boss for the first time. But the place I used to know is gone now. Hey, what's up? We're back again. And in great job, not much. Boss! It's been a while, Tatsumi. What are you doing here, boss? I heard from the young bucks you were back in town. I had a feeling you'd stop by West Park sooner or later. I mean, you used the family get revenge on me? That's what this is all about? Not even close. You and I live in different worlds now, Tatsumi. After you went to prison, I cut off you off from the family. Officially and personally. You got no place in Kamurocho now. Even if I forgave you for the past, we still got plenty of boys who want you dead in the ground. No compromises. And I ain't got enough power to calm them down all, all down myself. So get the hell out of here. Don't ever show your face in the city again. Yeah. Guess that's the only solution. Hey, boss, can I ask you one more thing? What? My son. What happened with my son? Don't worry about that. He's living safe and sound with his mother, way out in T Tachigi. Oh my god, he didn't actually know? You tell him? We told him you're dead. He thinks I'm dead, huh? Yeah, that's... I guess that's for the best. I'm out of here, boss. Take care of yourself. Sue me. Thank you. That was kind of a sad, sad one. Thanks for looking after Tatsumi for me. He's a little token of my appreciation. And I come in handy for a guy like you. Blood brooch. He's got a real, he's really got a good man. Not kind of for this business. Guy like him belongs on a straight and narrow. Tatsumi's boss seems to respect what kind of guy he is. That was cool. That was actually a, that was actually a pretty good one. Kind of a somber ending, but uh, I liked it. Uh, blood brooch. A brooch with a large red ruby. It's deep crimson and rounded appearance reminds me of a blood clot. I think it's actually a material for some of like the really good armor. What should I think about it? It looks kind of like a ring pop. <laughs> if you're looking at it from the top. Baby bottle pop. Baby bottle pop. Oh. Hey, baby, you lost. Want, to get, want me to give you directions? Uh, no, I'm fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, sweetheart. I know, why don't I take you somewhere real nice? Yeah. Huh? Please stop! <gasps> Someone help, this man won't leave me alone! Uh -huh. Huh? What do you want, Grandpa? I said to say, I'm just trying to help her out, is all. Uh, make sure to treat her with respect. Leave her alone before I make you. Ah, uh, uh, damn it, my luck with the ladies and shit today. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. Really am lost. I have no idea where I am right now. Where do you need to go? Barney Shalak. Meeting with someone there. Well, since I'm here, I might as well help help you get there. Oh, thank you. I got to talk I must do. Okay, that's uh oh, okay, we just just jumped here. Here we are, Shalak. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, if you have time, I'd love to thank you with a drink. That's really no problem. No, I insist. I've got some time for the meetup, so let me buy you a drink, please. It's better not to be a scam too, like you were working with the other guy. Sure, why not? Really? Thank you. Thank you. Let's go inside then. And I get roofied. She does my money. Thank you so much for your help. It's my first time here in Kamarachi, so I have no idea where everything is. I'm lucky you were there to show me where to go. You know, I don't think I've ever got your name. It's Kiryu. Kiryu, John. Nice to meet you, Kiryu, son. I'm Tomoko. I go to college not too far from Kamarachi. A college girl, huh? Good for you. 
What sort of work do you do, Kiri-san? Uh, a uh, bit of this, a bit of that, you know. We're in orphanage in Okinawa. <laughs> Whoa, an orphanage? It's just sweet. So you get to hang out with the kids all day, keep them company? It's not really how it works. They need parents to take care of them while they're helping with schoolwork or making them dinner. Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm not very smart. It's all right. How many people know what kind of work goes into running an orphanage? So that's incredible, Kiryu-san. I have so much respect for people who devote themselves to volunteering. <laughs> you know, you might look scary, Kiryu-san, but you're a real sweetheart deep down. I'm pretty into guys like that. Oh, shit. I'm about to score again? You're going to make you girl number six? So where's this guy you're waiting for? Is he still not here? I guess not. But I'm having a good time talking with you, Kiryu-san. I'll be okay. Right. Hey, what's up? Ah. Kaki blow it. Tereka! Oh, from, from a Yoshi-kun. There you are. What the hell are you doing here? Come at right, you. I told you not to come here. How dumb are you? What? Huh? But from a Yoshi-kun, you never came home, so I thought... Like that's any of your business, you stupid bitch. Are you always so mean to me? Didn't you read my text? I told you I didn't want to see you right now. You never replied, so I had to come all the way out here to find your dumb ass. Do you ever use your phone, or are you too stupid to use it? Huh? Wait, what text? Oh, I think I forgot my cell phone in my hotel room. I'm sorry, I did, totally didn't notice. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. You fucking moron. Fuck, now you're wasting my time, too? Is that any way to speak to her? Why don't you consider how she's feeling? Is that any way to speak to her? Huh? Eh, who the hell are you? He lost on the way here, but he stopped to help and walked me here himself. You get all friendly and start drinking together? See what's going on here? Why don't you hold up with this old fart, then? That's not what I meant. Wait, Fumi Yoshi kun I'm out. I don't want to see your face right here again. Eh. <laughs> well, these guys are starting to sound the same. I know. Nico, stop using your th that same stupid thug voice. I'm sorry, I know. It's like the voice that I use for all these thugs, but it's like, it always feels the most appropriate. Throw an accent or something. Fumi Yoshi kun A guy you were waiting for. Yeah, he's my boyfriend. A year ago, he left our countryside town for Kamurocho, but never came back. When I text him, can I come see you later? He'd always say, hell no. Finally, I decided to follow him out here and try to meet up with him, but looks like he's really upset that I did. I don't know what to do. If you need my help, I'll do what I can. Oh, really? Oh, but I need to go get my cell phone. I ran away from home, so I'm staying at a hotel for the moment. Sure you won't get lost on the way on to your hotel. <laughs> eh, still worried about me, huh? Would you mind walking me back to my hotel then? Sure. I swear to God, this with me getting scammed, I'll be pissed. Thank you so much. Let's talk more about this at hotel. Oh god, the roof is starting to kick in. Uh! It's the right hotel. It's, all, it's always the same one. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm going to go buy a few drinks at the convenience store. Could you go up to my room and wait for me? It's a suite on the top floor. Wait, how much does it get in there without a key? My friend Howie came in to Kamburocho with me. She should be up in the room already. Just tell her you know me. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, okay, sure. Remember, it's a suite on the top floor. Got it. Oh, boy. Oh my god, voice acting! Oh, fuck. Oh my god, do they think he was a... Do they think I'm a stripper or something? Or a male prostitute? So, what's your name? Kazuma Kiryu. Kiryu-san, you're so dreamy. Why'd you get into this kind of work, Kiryu-san? Oh god. Wait, you know what I do for work? Yeah. Tomoko told me all about you. I told Tomoko about it at the bar, but still, how? So, what led you to this line of work? Well, the man who raised me did the exact same thing. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to follow in his footsteps. That's why I started down this path. To help those who didn't have anyone else in their lives. To help fuck those who didn't have anyone else to fuck in their lives. Mm, I see. You know, I've been feeling pretty lonely lately. You're l alone too, huh? Yeah. Huh. Well, if you need my help, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I will help solve your problems with my penis. I hope you'll help me a lot tonight. So, how long have you been in this line of work, Kiryu-san? About two years. <laughs> and how many girls have you helped? Girls? Specifically? There's Ay Ay Ayako, Riona, Eri, Izumi, and of course Arika, so that makes five girls. <laughs> Not too many, then. Well, they're still just kids, so it's pro Oh, no! Uh oh no no i don't even like the the insinuate insinuation here so it's pretty tough making sure they get all the attention they need wait you take 
kids too? Of course. Not just girls, boys too. Oh my god, this is getting a little dark. Wow, really? That must be quite rough on you. I mean, I don't know, maybe she thinks like young or younger adult girls. Anyway, this room looks pretty expensive, don't you think? <laughs> Figured, hey, it's a special case, so what else? Works? I'm guessing it's what she thought, because otherwise, I think any normal person would be like, uh, okay, I gotta go. Right, well, I suppose it's your first time here. That makes sense. I was, was kind of nervous about this at first, but I'm glad I worked up the courage to ask for your help. Her help. You never mentioned someone as dreamy as you would come walking through that hotel door. Curious, son? <laughs> I like how Curious just, like, brushes that off. As, All right, okay, so you're going to Sure, it's taking a while. What do you mean? We're just getting started. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, come on, carry son. Oh god, here we go. Time to get naked. Oh, you're just you're so strong. Oh fuck. Go for Kiryu. Oi. Oi. Just go with it, Kiryu. Go with it. ね。何金を払って。そうよ。たまこってこにも払ってあるわ。出張ホスト代は。出張ホスト。ホスト。そうよ。だからキリュウさん、ここに来たんでしょ。I'm gonna score myself out. Who the hell's this guy? Hey, Grandpa, what are you doing here? Wait, aren't you the guy who was bothering Tomoko outside? What? No, I'm this woman's husband. Who the hell are you? Girl named Tomoko told me to come up here, but this Aoi girl's mistaking me for a male escort. Uh? Male escort? What's the difference? You still trying to mess with another girl, man's girl? I'm so confused. What's happening? No, no, no. I haven't done anything. <sighs> Shut up. Not fall for your bullshit. You better fork up with some cash before I beat the shit out of you. 100,000 years to do the trick. Fuck you. No, I don't even have that money, by the way. Are you kidding me? Why would I pay a swindler yeah. like you? Got balls man, because I got no trust to beat the snot out of you. I'm so confused. Like, I didn't bother to explain myself to the girl either. I'm just like, I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> How dare you mistake me for an escort? You make me angry. No, oh, that. Oh, come on. Ow. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, I guess it'll match for you. Tell me, what's going on here? I don't know. Jeez, the moment my escort rise, he leaves without doing anything, then picks up a fight with some random punk. Random punk? They, you were his wife. I don't know who the heck he is. What am I way to pay some girl named Tomiko a lot of money for you? This sucks. All right, you, start talking. What in the dick is going on right now? <laughs> it wasn't my idea, so put me up to this. He told me to show up here, and I stumbled into a couple getting it on. And then I barred you and pretend to be your husband and throw the guy for money. Oh, fuck, it was a scam. So she did fucking scam me. God, well, I will say, at least in this way, this was the a very elaborate scam. This at least had a sort of interesting twist to it. Who told you to do this? Some guy named Fumiyoshi. Oh, wait, was it not Tomiko? Fumiyoshi? Sure, that was his name. Yeah. I'm sure. He always thinks out the party should lock. Go ask him yourself. Unless they partnered up together. Think of it. Tomoko, Tomoko's boyfriend was named Fumiyoshi. Those two have to be up to something. I should head over to Shalak, get them to spill the beans. No, it is the case. Hey, hold on. You're not going to leave me hanging, are you? Give me back my money, you swindler. Some escort you are. I'll come back and fuck you later, ma'am. <laughs> Man, that was easy. Here I was wondering if anyone would really stop to help some girl being harassed by a guy on the street, but we nabbed one pretty fast. <laughs> you moron. It was only easy because I made a great shitty boyfriend. My performance is legendary. I'm a god. Everything went according to plan. And not only, are, not only are we getting money from the cheek that we ordered an escort, we're gonna get even more money by blackmailing that guy. <laughs> Who do you think do you think of everything? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you got a good hand on your shoulders. I'm gonna let right by now that shit guy's making bank off that old fart. 
I told myself to believe that I was ran away from home to see my boyfriend and follow me all the way to that hotel. What schmuck? <laughs> ah, it's obvious he was cruising for something else. Ah. Well, he should be up over the hottie right by now. You can't be too pissed about that. <laughs> Man, I was expecting to be scared shitless. Nah. <laughs> ah. Seriously. Hey, what's up? I'm already back. You might want to keep your voices down next time. Ah. Shit, it's you. You spent all that time thinking up this plan, but didn't spend the extra second making sure it went right. Okay. Went right. What? It's not like we did anything bad to you. You're the one who put yourself in that shitty situation. It's all you have to say for taking advantage of those people. Now stop trying to convince you and let my fist do the talking. I'm gonna start with that bitch first. Time to time, go. Shit, well, whatever. I'll end this little encounter by helping get myself to all the cash you got on you. Stay south side. We don't want to ruin the bar. The reggae bar is right next door. Look at angry at us. Yeah. Here, hold on to this. God damn it. All right, fuck this. I'm ending this a cool way. Damn it. Come on. You really gotta wait for the moment of impact. Damn it. Look how hunched over he is. This dumb fighting stance. Ah, yeah. Uh, who the hell is this guy? Give me you, but I'm so sorry. We won't scam anyone ever again, so please just let us go. If you want to apologize, then go back to the hotel room, give all your money back. Yes, of course. You crazy bitch. Holy shit, I got 10,000 experience for that one? Alright, cool. That was a that was a scam with an actual cutscene too. They put a lot of, a lot of time into that into that scam. I'm alright with it. By the way, does this guy have like any new things for me yet? I did I did beat a boss. Uh, he said he would message me, so I'm just gonna bet not. Probably not until like next chapter. What the hell? I don't want to fucking hear. Get the hell out! Out of here! What's that? It's like a kid from the alley. Murderous man. A bookie bastard. If you ever book your nose where it doesn't belong again, the last time you think you ever do. Suppo supposedly Buki. Enough of this. Doing this to doing this to me is going to change anything. Show your yap. Stab. Ugh. It's your last warning. Don't ever show your face around here again. Hey, you alright? Yeah, thanks for stopping. You're hurt. Do you need help? Don't worry, it's nothing. Wait, are you curious, son? You know me. I used to be a member of the Dojima family. My name is Abuki. Abuki? Sorry, but I don't remember you. Back then, I was just a flunky. So it's so surprising you don't remember me. Probably somebody I beat up at some point when I broke in there. Is that right? Sorry, I don't remember. No, it's fine. It was over 10 years ago. Ah! Hey, you don't look so good. I can't just leave you here. I'll make sure you get, get home safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we got obligatory sub story, seemingly. Wait, where the fuck am I? Is your sex dungeon? What the shit is this? What is this place? It used to be a restaurant I ran for the Oxa, called it Cobbarter Castle. It's been a restaurant for a long time now, though. Now it serves the headquarters for the Honest Living Association, the HLA. I'm the representative. Honest Living Association? What's that all about? That was some, like, new, like, gameplay thing? The HLA is an organization that helps former Yaksa members get out of the business and start making an honest living. We do things like help them find work, give them low-interest loans if they need them, make si things like that. Then why do you have, like, jail cells? I see. At first, we used my house for the uh, HLA headquarters, but lots of members need a place to stay. S stay, too. Oh, okay. So I converted my restaurant to our dormitory and headquarters. The castle dungeon look comes from the theming of the original restaurant. Oh, okay. The HL member says it looks kind of like a prison, so it helps keep them on the straight and narrow. Yeah, it's been a contributing factor in re rehabilitating our members back into normal society. What? Well, whatever works, I guess. Interesting. Never knew a place like this existed. Yes, sir. We've tried to keep it under wraps, so I'd guess most Tojo Club members never heard of it. Who founded the HLA? Kashiwagi-san. <gasps> what? Kashiwagi-san? It's hard for people who leave the Yakuza to make their way out and try to earn an honest living in the outside world. Damn it, where was this place that I fucking tried to leave like 30 times? Kashiwagi-san knew this and saw how much these guys were suffering. That's why he set up the HLA. 
He was a well-respected man who always took good care of his men, so even former Yaksa members came to him with their problems. They'd all tell him that leaving the business was fine and all, but that trying to make it to, into normal society was next to impossible. Yeah, I know what kind of guy Kashiwagi-san was. I'm sure he lent them a sympathetic ear. To Kashiwagi-san, there were still members of, of his family, even though they'd already left the Yaksa. Kashiwagi-san founded the HLA as an organization that could provide these people with the support they needed. Is that right? Recently, as the Tojo clan was becoming more turbulent, Kashiwagi-san turned over the management of the HLA to me. He asked me to watch over our members until they could support themselves through honest work. Now, Kashiwagi-san is no longer with us. It's my duty to fulfill his dying wish. Yeah, can understand that. But now the HLA is facing a serious problem. That guy from before, you mean? Yeah. He's a former member who got help from us once, but somebody gi is giving him orders to hurt the members of the HLA and the Tojo clan. Why would someone do that? And it's not just him. More and more former Yaksa are carrying out these kind of attacks. They call themselves the Reapers, and they're obviously got an axe to grind. The Reapers game! But all these so-called Reapers used to work for the Yaksa as hitmen. Hitmen. So we're talking professional killers here. Right. All we've been able to gather so far is that somebody is organizing former Yaksa hitmen to get some kind of revenge. You think they want to wipe out the HLA? Well, not necessarily, seeing as they've also been harassing active members of the Tojo clan. The HLA is going to have to do something about this. I can't just lie down and take it. Is there anyone in the HLA who could take out these hitmen? Unfortunately, no, seeing as our members are former Yaksa who are trying to avoid that sort of thing. Right. In any case, you just need someone to find these hitmen and catch them and round them all up, right? What are you implying? If I went after those guys, I could focus on helping our HLA members turn their lives around. That's pretty accurate, right? Well, yes, but I couldn't ask something like that of you. I myself left the Oxa to live an honest life. I know how rough it can be. And I know how important it is for you to honor Kashiwaki-san's dying wish. I'll do anything I can to help. Kiryu-san, would you really do this for us? I've got a lot of things going on right now, but I'll definitely help out wherever, I, whenever I get the chance. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. However, I can thank you for doing this. Save for when this is all over. So what exactly do you need me to do? Let me think. The HLA is using all its resources right now to collect information on those reap these Reapers. Whatever is convenient for you, please stop by, and I'll give you all the info we've gathered on one, on one of the Hitmen. And then, if you manage to find and capture that Hitman, give me a call. We'll take it from here there. Oh, I remember. That's right. There was actually something in my completion. It was like Hitman missions, right? All right. These men will be formidable opponents. You're better off going after them only one at a time. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. And for every hitman you successfully capture, the HLA will offer you a reward. I'm afraid it won't be much. I'm not doing this for the money, I'm doing this for the EXP, baby! But it wouldn't be right if we didn't at least cover your expenses. Please, we must insist. Alright, so we'll need to spend some time and money getting ready to take them down. I'll accept your reward. Could I ask you one more thing? What is it? These Reapers aren't just causing trouble for us here in the Tokyo. They've been popping up all over the country, carrying out attacks on other Tojo affiliated families. At this stage, I'm afraid we won't have, don't have the resources to do much outside of Kamurocho. But I seem to recall you saving, saying you live in Okinawa. That's right. If we get any information on Hitman in Okinawa, do you think we could, you could head south and handle them too? Sure. No problem. I don't know when I'll be back there next, but definitely keep me in the loop. Alright, I'll reach you whenever we find something. In any case, we can't shut those Reapers down for good until we find out who's behind all this. It's going to be difficult, but with you on our side, I know we can do this. Good luck. Right, I think there were 10, right? Uh, oh wait, oh, there it is, Hitman Missions. Uh, oh, actually, no, I don't, I don't know how many I have. Go work here, son. What would you like to do now? Uh, learn how to accept a request? You can send a request for a Hitman mission you would like to do from the HLA and Kamurocho. If you select review requests and talk to Ibiki, a list of requests you can accept at a time will be displayed. Press X on the review request screen, screen to see an investigative report on a particular Hitman. To accept your request, select the accept this request. You can only accept one request for a Hitman mission at a time. Once you've accepted, you cannot cancel it. Items on the list marked done indicate missions that have already been completed. You can view the missions currently underway as well as previously completed missions by selecting sub-stories from the pause menu. Uh, okay. Batsu the Executioner, Katara the Killer, Old Rags Hats Hatsutane. I imagine these are, uh, like, there's a finite number of these, right? It's not like some, some endless thing. Uh, use heavy blunt objects as weapons. Sighted at the east end of Tai Boulevard in Kamurocho. 
All right, we'll just start with the uh, easiest one first, then. Thank you, Kirisan. We'll do everything in our power to assist you. Good luck. Uh, Kirisan, do you know a stream musician named Hideki? He's a young guy who's always singing and playing his guitar in front of the Million Towers. Pretty good, too. He's always there. You might be able to get some good information out, out of him that will help you track d your targets down. Oh, okay. Oh, God damn it! I'm stuck in walking animation. Is there anything over here? Probably not. So the next room is the archive room. It's probably better not to go in. Oh, okay. Sure. Because of reasons! It does kind of suck you only do one at a time, though. Because what it inevitably means is that you're going to have to fucking run all the way back here every time you want to do one. Oh, okay, I see. It does show up on my map over in the parking lot. All right, let's give this a try. Looks like the boss of the hitman. <laughs> what are you doing? It's your own damn fault for joining the Yakuza. Now it's time for you to pay the price. What the hell are you talking about? Hold it right there. That's enough, Mr. Hammerman. Who the hell are you? You're boss of the hitman, aren't you? What if I am? Hey, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll never forget this guy. I don't know. You're on the biz too? Not anymore. Why? Would you kill me if I were? Yeah, that's right. The Yaks have to be destroyed. That's extreme. What are you against the Yaks anyway? You side with them. You're just as guilty as they are. You deserve to die too. It's like talking is going to get us anywhere. Pay me your sins, Yaks are scum. Yak is a scum. <laughs> All right, fine. Come at me. I'll show you the power of a dragon. Whoa, where's my move? Oh, I, I gotta be in the red. Fuck. That's right. Oh, wait, I got it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I was in the red. I had it. Oh, here we go. Eat this, motherfucker. What the hell? It did dick for damage. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. I guess it just doesn't do a lot of damage to like even boss fights. Oh, that sucks, dude. That is so little damage. I thought that I, I was like, oh, this is going to kill him, right? Guess not. Yeah, and the other games definitely would have killed him. Oh, God. Here we go. Power up. All right. Let's go ahead and just let's do head press. I think head press probably does more damage by itself. And the other one's more used if he has, like, other guys that are around as well. Oh, actually, now I think about it, this actually could give me some good experience. Maybe. Uh, ah. Want to come to your senses? Never. I'll never forgive them. I'll never forgive them for what they did. Looks like it's your problem. You are one of them once, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. When I was a kid, uh, I joined the Yakuza. So what happened? I was a hitman for them, and they ordered me to off my key members of the rival family. They promised me a big reward and a high position in the family when my prison time was over. I spent 15 years dreaming of life after the slammer. It's always 15 years with you guys. I know how that feels. But when I finally got back to Kamurocho, the only thing waiting for me was an assassin to shut me up for good. During those 15 years, they called a truce with the rival family, and I just remi reminded them of past mistakes. Managed to escape with my life, but I'd lost everything. Ever since then, whenever I see someone in the Yaksa, I get pissed. Makes sense. This, that story of yours isn't exactly uncommon. What? Look, I understand where you're coming from, but there's no reason to go around with a fucking sledgehammer attacking people that had nothing to do with what happened to you. The Honest Living Association sent me to come find you. HLA. I could talk this whole thing over there with Ibuki and figure out what to do next. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna, like, basically... I'm gonna be saving these guys now. All the hitmen are gonna turn out to be not bad guys and get rehabilitated. Uh, great work, Kiryu-san. I'll take it from here. ibuki san is waiting for you at headquarters. I'll come to you there. Oh, dope. They take me back. Yes, thank you. Great work. Are you... I'm glad you're okay. Looks like uh, Batsu is calming down. Right now, he's t talking to some HLA members in the back room. Just leave him to us. Kirisan, well done. Here's your reward. Appreciate your hard work. Please come back again. We're really counting on you. I don't know how many levels I gained from that guy. Exactly. But yeah, based on how that extensive that cussing was, yeah, it's clearly a finite number of dudes. Yep, done. All right, Kataro the Killer. Uh, uses unique, unique weapons. Quick to escape. Sight at West Park and Kamurocho. Okay. 
Aw, oh, you scared? If you don't want to die, then pay up. How about say, I didn't do anything to you. Sorry, but your luck ran out when you crossed my path. Pay up now if you want me to let you go. Must be the hitman Kitaro. Better put a stop to this before it gets out of hand. What's going on here? Huh? What do you want? You looking for trouble, old man? Ha! Ah! Hey, come back here! Yeah, son of a bitch. Anyway, whatever. See as you crash for party, I hope you're ready, dickhead. Ready for what? A professional killer. Yeah. R really? Dressed like that? Ain't nobody in the underworld has heard about me. Uh, actually, I've never, uh, I've never heard of you. <laughs> ah, you must be a civilian then. What are you, a, ch a chef or something? Sure, dressed like one. <laughs> what chef? What? Does this look like a chef's uniform to you, you dickhead? Ah, uh, well, whatever. But you got a part about me being a professional killer, right? You freaked out yet? Sorry, I don't follow. Just give me your money if you're that scared. That way, you at least make it out of it with your life intact. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? You're the Reaper Qatar, right? Where are you? Tr where? What are you trying to accomplish here? What? How are you come you know my name? Did I even tell you my name? No, you didn't. How'd you know about me? Why are you ta talking like that now? You all right? Huh? I'm a killer, so call us some money. Give it up. Come with me. Ah! Hold it! No! Oh, God damn it. Go, you motherfucking run, you bitch. Get fucked. Oh, lady. Hey, lady! Ah! I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. That amazing leap. Am <laughs> I not even actually gonna fight this guy? I'm just gonna like ch chase him down. And we're back here again. <laughs> right back where we start. Why are you after me? Just calm down. Come with me. You a cop or something? I'm with the Honest Living Association. HLA? You mean the job that job replacement center? More or less. These guys, the hell do they want? We're going after a group of hitmen called the Reapers. You're one of them, right? If you know this much, I can't very much, can't very well just let you take me in. Now, can I? Yeah, I guess that's how you'd see it. Damn, guess there's only one thing to do then. Die, old man. No, I guess I do find him. <laughs> ah, fuck, he's got a broken <laughs> bottle. I guess I'm fucked. There's nothing I can do. Come at me. What did we learn today, huh? What did we learn, asshole? I said, what did we learn? Come on, get up. Get up. Oh, it's a taser. Ow, I thought it was a broken bottle. Oh, I still got a taser. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, it's doing some fucking damage. Because it's starting to hurt a lot. And the thing is, even with the tire drop, you actually do take some damage from it. Like, you tank it a bit, but... Fuck. I think it might give you a little armor like it decreases the damage a bit, but... See, like, what the fuck? That sounded like I was actually getting ready to do it, but I got cut off. There we go. What in the fuck just happened? Fuck your taser! Stop running! Okay, getting pissed. Bye. <laughs> Stab the shit out of you! Alright, oh, me Angie! Uh, ah, there we go. Head press. All right, see how much experience I get from this. So I got 48. Just, just two levels. But that's enough to get me ready for the next level up. Yeah. I didn't think it'd be much of a fight, but you've got some decent moves. Watch me, you've got a taser and that's it. Hell yeah, my teacher's gonna shoot many issue. Everyone knows he's basically a god. I'm a god. Know your place, peasant. Then why did you put on this act and threaten people for pocket change? Can't stomach killing people. Wait, what? I was fine until I left my teacher and joined the family in Camarocho. Whenever I tried to do my work, I got scared. I just couldn't go through with it. The family threw me out, and I went up with nowhere else, nowhere to go. So that's why you're doing pretty petty gigs like this? Yeah. Anyway, it's whatever. Guess I'll let the HLA take me in. 
Hey, they can find me working stuff. Wait here. It tastes me again. Oh, damn it. Well, okay, you sign. I'll take it from here. Boogie signs waiting for you at headquarters. I'll come to you there. I'm so glad that they teleport you back here. Great work. Glad you're okay. Katara wants to rehabilitate back into society. For the time being, we can put him to work here as an assistant. But first, he's got a lesson to learn about manners. Kiri san, well done. Here's a reward. Okay. Holy shit, let's get a bunch more. I wonder if you can actually do them all at once. Uh, Orags Hasutani. Uh, sign up Public Park 3 in Kamurocho. Does not carry any weapons. Okay. Master of the Drunken Fist or some shit? I think that was pretty close by. But first, we must upgrade. Uh, okay, knockdown reversal. A counterattack executed after being knocked down used to get out of tight situations. Triangle while emitting white energy in, f in flight. Or actually, no, it's not knocked down, knocked away. Uh, snap faster if being knocked down. Yeah, let's do that and also get more health. Okay, grab escape two. Escape for an enemy, hold faster by enhancing your physical strength and more health. What the hell? Look at damn! Look at this kid. Just looks like a, just looks like a shrunk down man. <laughs> and then the teacher said she liked it. She said it looked real, really good. <laughs> wow, that's great. That's my, that's my guy. And you know what else? Looks like the hitman Hasatani. Seems pretty close to that kid. Better beat him up. And sir, dominance. Sorry to interrupt. Are you Hasatani? Yeah, it's me. You have a minute. Yeah, I need to talk with this man here, so why don't you head on home for today? No, I want to hang out with you. We'll see each other again tomorrow. Come on now, off you go. He was like sunglasses and a leather jacket. What do you want to talk to me about? You're one of the Reaper hitmen, aren't you? Old Rag Sasatane? The fact that you know that nickname isn't a good sign, is it? The Honest Living Association sent me to come find you. The HLA, I see. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't afford to get caught. I won't go without a fight. There's no need to fight over this. We're just gonna gather information on the Reapers and we want your help. Look, even I have my principles. Don't think I'd stoop that that low. If you want me to go with you, you'll have to make me. Whatever. Go on, roll, man. Use your fist, though. It means I can counter you with no worries. Oh, God, ow. Oh, fuck, he's crazy. Never mind. Oh, God, I'm really worried. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Come on. Ah, oh, what? I, I didn't do it there. Ah. Oh. oh god, turn around. Holy shit. Ah, oh, block this dickhead! Ah. Ah. Oh, you're dead now! Feel the heat! Why does it get more guys to use these, this uh, finishing move on? Ah. Yeah, I was getting two EXP from this. Not a lot, actually. Damn, you're good. Ready to go now? Stop! Oh, wait, he only had right. I thought he had sunglasses on. Leave him alone! Oh. Uh. Just said leave him alone! Thanks, but I'm okay. See? Really? Really. You don't have to worry. Really long hope now, okay? Okay, bye. That's <laughs> over. Yeah, shit, blah. Oh, don't call an ambulance. I was wrong. Who's that kid? We just ran to each other one day. Not sure who he is or where he's from. I have kids myself, you know. A boy and a girl. I bet they're just about his size. What do you mean, you bet? Aren't they your kids? In my line of work, I can't be with them. No matter how much I want to be. My friend's taking care of them night right now. You sound bitter about that. I used to be in the Yakuza, but my boss blamed me for a mistake he made. And I got kicked out of the family. Back then, there wasn't anything like the HLA. And I had a hard time trying to find a job. My wife died from overworking herself. I'm sorry to hear that. 
I needed money to feed my kids. It's the only kind of work I could find. I want to make sure I can send money to them so I don't spend money on myself for clothes or weapons. It's the name Old Rags Asatane. Part of the reason I joined the Reapers is because I was angry about getting blamed for something I didn't do. But mostly it was because the Reapers took care of me financially. I'm betting your kids don't know you're in this lot of work. There's no way I could tell them, but I need the money. If I have to get blood on my hands to feed my children, then so be it. That's what you say, but what if you get caught? What? If you keep this up and get arrested, what's going to happen to your kids? And how would you be able to keep them from finding out? You're right, but it's not too late. You can try to find an honest job again. The HLA and Ibuki can definitely help you out. Nothing's ever that easy. Things have changed since you were kicked out of your family. Don't you think it's worth another try? Yeah, I think you're right. I'll give it another shot. You've opened my eyes. Thank you. All takes a little talk from Daddy Kiryu and also a little pain. Great work, Kiryu son. I'll take it from here. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. The HLA will provide Hasatani's children with financial assistance. I'd like to help him find some decent work and get him back to living with his children as soon as possible. All right, eighty thousand dollars. Mr. and Mrs. Odagiri work as a duo, room to be rumored to be armed with guns. Side at Mockball and Kamurocho. <laughs> really? Husband and wife, huh? Thank you, yourself. Do everything in power. Booga, booga, booga. All right. All right, I think we're going to save that for another time. Let's just go ahead and continue on with the, the main story for now. All right, there's this guy out here. Uh, my song? Well, I'm no expert. I'd say it wasn't bad. See, no matter how much you play, anybody ever listens. Guess it's really mad if anybody listens or not. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to complain. It's all right. I'm a dick, you, by the way. I watched a musician, as you can see. And you are? Kiryu. Kiryu? I've never heard that name before. Yeah, I guess Kiryu's a pretty common name. The one cu only curious sound who's ever stopped to hear me sing, though. Thanks for listening. You can usually find me here. Come by and listen again sometime. Sure, if I get the chance. So I keep you. See you around. Are you supposed to help me with the... Uh. Here you are again. Hey, you're always here, too. Uh, not always. I like to get around and have fun, too, you know. Actually, went bowling the other day. I might be surprised how many old people were there. That's really weird. They would have this guy. Like, it's like, what purpose does he serve? I can just go in my menu here and see Hitman. And it says, cited at Mock Bowl. I just, I know exactly where it is. Why would I need this guy? Kind of a weird inclusion. Back to Anusa right now. Kiryu. Kiryu. Now, Kiryu, feel like you've been gone for hours. It's real fine condo or something. That was part of it, but also, <laughs> a billion side quests, Rikia, and uh, so much shit. Also, what? Mama, if I, mind if I... If a friend I brought from Okinawa stays here with me, he won't be around any longer than I am. Oh, of course. Is this, um, a special friend? No, nah, you gotta be talking about Har Haruka, right? No, on both counts. It's actually the captain of the Ryuta family, one of the biggest syndicates in Okinawa. And we're definitely talking about a guy here, right? Or did you go and hook yourself up with some big female yaksa? His name's Rikia. He's, a, he's still pretty much a kid. <laughs> Oh, well, in that case, especially, especially welcome. We can use some young blood to fresh, freshen up the place. All I normally get in here is middle-aged farts like Dante-san. What's that supposed to mean? Huh, just giving you a taste of your own medicine. That's what you get for calling me an old lady all the time. Well, I guess I deserve that. Get you, son. Anyway, you guys are welcome to stay in the back office as long as you don't cause any trouble here. I mostly use it for storage. I appreciate it, Mama. So, where is this guy? Now, let him go explore Kamurocho a bit. See the sights. He's coming here when he's done. Sounds like a damn terrorist. So much for work ethic. Everything okay, Dade son? Doesn't sound like you're in a very good mood. Nah, it's nothing. Arigi. Speak of the devil. Finally found you, Nikki. Would you believe I went in like five different bars so I ended up here? This is a goddamn maze or something. This your guy carry you. Yep. Rikyo, it's my friend Dante-san. I couldn't tell you how many times he's helped me over the years. Oh, and this is the mama of this bar. And he gets friends, huh? Pleasure to meet you. Meeting you. The name's Riki Shima Bakura. <laughs> well, someone has a lot of energy. I <laughs> uh, try, ma'am. Huh. It's Dante. Please. Please. Don't hit on mama! She's mine! Oh, the honor's all mine. Rikyo, you finished looking around town? I mean, I guess, but... What's wrong? Yeah, I never found that bikini bar I was looking for. For fuck's sake, Rikia. I really wanted to get see what kind of heat in Tokyo one could bring, too. I didn't realize it was that important to him. 
Anyway, I carry you. I'm ready to hear what you went down with Kondo whenever you're ready to spill it. Just let me know when it's time, okay? Really want to dig into the details here. <sighs> Man, I wish I could have spent some more time in the town. Every day you get to spend, you come sauntering up to Tokyo. Like Rigo still wants to go out. Uh, okay. We're gonna go for another tour. Whoa, seriously, Nikki? Hell yeah, it was fun, man. I guess that see you look so dejected. Sweet, I'm, I'm ready to get rolling. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Is this upside, Nick? <laughs> Dude, I'm walking. Anything? <gasps> this, we do. Okay, here we go. All right. That was the scene, I think. That must have been the scene to trigger the other stuff story I have to do with them. I think I think there's only two. Oh, we're going to the bikini bar? Evening, friends. What are you saying? A bikini bar. We got bays, we got booze, we got everything a guy can eat. Oh my god, we actually ended up doing it. Let's go. Oh man, I've always wanted to check out one of these things. What should we do? Let's go. Alright, let's take a look. Yes, you're the best, Niki. Body two, right this way. Oh. Oh, shit. So that's how they do it up here. Wild. Here, this was on me. So I remember Tokyo by. Thanks, Aniki. Oh, snap. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh, yeah. Ugh. I'm sorry, looking at fucking Rikia. Wow. Uh, I think we're gonna sit through the whole show now. Oh, baby. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Damn it. We're gonna put your pants back on. I'm sorry. I guess I'm supposed to do it up here differently. A person that nobody does it like that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that beautiful remastered PS3 body. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Phew, she's smoking and very bendy. <laughs> that was great, Nikki. I gotta say, I kinda think the girls down in Okinawa more. They're aggressive, domineering. That's the shit where he really gets my gears turning. What are you talking about? You're practically drooling in there. <laughs> well, what can I say? I might have my preferences, but I still lose my mind when there's a hot girl in front of me. Good night, see you next week. Psst, Nikki, that's the dancer. I can smell her perfume from here. God, I love Tokyo. Hey, sorry if this is kind of weird or, or whatever, but I love the show. You were great out there. Not surprising, knowing the town we're in. Bet you could even be on TV if you wanted. I really appreciate that. Maybe you could come see me again if you liked it that much. Uh, oh, where are my manners? My name is Asumi. Asumi, huh? Uh, pretty name. Wait, don't I know you from somewhere? Asumi, Asumi, Asumi. Oh, yeah. Asumi Osato. I remember you now. I'm Rikia. Rikia Shima Bakura. That ring a bell? We sat next to each other in middle school. What? Oh my god. Remember? Wait, you know her? She's an old, an old friend, yeah. She just appeared after we graduated middle school. Though, it's been, what, nine years now? Man, time flies. And hey, I know girls are supposed to change as they grow up, but holy shit, you're freaking gorgeous now. Who would have thought we'd end up bumping into each other like this, like this all the way up here? I'm sorry, but I think you have the wrong person. Nasumi is just my stage name. Uh, oh, ouch. Sorry, I guess I was getting a tiny bit carried away there. But I could have sworn I was right. It's totally fine. Anyway, um, I should be getting ready for my next dance. Thank you so again for stopping by for my show. Arigato. Arigato. Oh. Sono pendanto. <gasps> pendanto? Ah. Is that Oathkeeper? Hibiscus. Hibiscus? やっぱり上里の夏美じゃねえか。ほら、これ見てみろよ。俺も大事に持ってるぜ、そのハイビスカスのペンダント。What so I, I'm not actually wearing the thing. Pens aren't really my style, but I always have with me my wallet. Never go anywhere without it. I. Come on, quit playing dumb. Tokyo didn't change you that much, did it? 
Deep down, we're still just stupid, two stupid kids from Okinawa, right? Well, actually, the truth is, I'm Nasumi's sister. My real name is Akio. Oh. But I don't remember Nasumi having a sister. Shouldn't I have at least heard of you? Not necessarily. Nasumi and I are a few years apart. And I went and I went to school on the mainland, so we were kind of distant at the time. Well, sure, but she never even mentioned you. Really? Nasumi told me all about you, Shima Bakura-san. What about that pendant? Why do you have it? Oh, Nasumi gave it to me. Huh? She just gave it away? People change, Rukia. You said it's been years since you've seen her, right? Maybe. But I hung on to mine all this time. So I always assumed that Asumi would do the same. Guess I was wrong. Here, I'll walk you two out. Let me get my stuff. Hmm. Where is this going? Hey, I know this is kind of weird, Akio-san, but I have fun tonight. I'll be back for sure. Oh, and say hi to Asumi for me, will you? Of course. I'm sure she'll be surprised here I ran into you of all, of all people. What are you up to nowadays, anyway? Well, I'm part of the Ryuta family. The Yakuza gig running downtown, remember? I'm actually either captain. Yakuza? Never would have pegged you for that kind of lifestyle, Rikyakun. Well, there's a lot to me, lot more to me than whatever Nasumi told you, I'm sure. Oh, uh, just call me Rikya, by the way. Here's myself. Give me a laugh if you ever need help with something. You know, I might just do that. Yeah, let's get going, Nikki. Right. Hmm. Do I just wait for a call now? Aniki. Oh, hold on, Nikki. It looks like I got a call. That was fast. Mushy. Mushy. What's going on, uh, Kiyo san? Uh, of course. You can tell me anything. A stalker. Where are you? The past is going down. Mm hmm. Be there in a flash. Sorry, Nikki. Think we can help her out? She's down by the famous ramen shop. Of course. Let's go. I'm gonna guess this is probably actually her, right? It's, she's just, again, still trying to uh, pretend it's not her. Maybe she's embarrassed? It's far enough. Get away from me. <laughs> what about our wedding? We're gonna get married to Sumi Chan. Sorry for keeping me waiting, Akio san. I'll handle the scumbag for you, or scumball for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I shower you with affection, give you gifts every day of the week, even keep your bank account in the green, and this one I get. I'm out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I didn't have to do anything that time. Nice. Be careful out here, Akio san. Who knows what kind of nut jobs you might run into these days? You're right, and thanks. I think I'll run into any more trouble, but I'll give you another call if I do. Bye. Uh, what? Again? We're gonna have to wait? I guess so. An AK! Another call from Akio san. Oh boy. What's up, Kiyo San? More trouble? What, another soccer? Where are you? Okay, I'll be right over. Sorry, Nikki. Think you show me where the batting, batting center is? Because I wouldn't mind. Hmm, I don't know where this one's kind of going. I gotta say, it kept her account in the green. It's like, what in the fuck? Is she working as an escort now as well? Some like sugar daddies or something? Oh, same guy again. Get away from me, you pervert! You gotta be kidding me now, Simi. I gave everything for you. My life, my best, my life, everything! Hey, she told you to leave her alone. Got a problem, you can take it up with me. I dropped 20 million on your ass, this is what I get! You're talking about cash you spent at the club, yeah? Then that's between you and the club. Now get the hell out of her face. Akio san, sorry about all that. No surprise you got creeps waiting for you down every street, though, especially here. Maybe you're just not cut out for the big city. But how about you come back to Okinawa with me? Start fresh. And the rest of the Rito family make sure nobody dares even look at you the wrong way. Well, thank you, but I'll think about it. Anyway, I should be going. Hopefully your next meeting is under such awful circumstances. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for her to call again, alright? Yep. Hold on, it's Akio sign again. It's getting ridiculous. Hello, what's wrong this time, Akio? Oh, scout this time. Got it. be there in a flash. Damn. So I'm mooching the fuck off of us. Uh, Nikki, you think you show me where the Millennium Tower is? I'm starting to lose my patience for this, man. Come on! Thought we were gonna see some titties today! I know, I'm sorry. God. You're the worst wingman ever, Ricky. Oh. Fuck! Ah, oh, damn it! Now I gotta run into some weird purple suited asshole. All I want is a New York style hot dog, but I can never eat one because they don't ever fucking let me do it in any of these games! Ah! I'm warning you. I've got a bodyguard! 
Ticker. Don't be like that, babe. You need a pocket change, don't you? Well, I got a perfect gig of mine for you. Come on, man. Can you see she's not interested? Let me show you what happens when you don't leave innocent girls alone. <laughs> How's your problem, dude? Just keep your paws out of other people's business. No, I'm out of here. I'm going to run into you first. Thanks, Ricky. I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing. What's wrong with all the, tr what's with all the trouble you keep running into, Akio-san? They come out just too dangerous for you. I mean, yeah, it's dangerous, but I have my knight in shining armor here to take care of me. It's really nice having you around, Rikia. Well, I want to help, but... Anyway, I've got to run. Drop at the club again sometime, okay? What in the fuck is going on? Rikia, does it sort of feel like she's using you? <laughs> yeah. Akia, son, using me? You got, you got your head checked, Niki? She'd never do that. I mean, for, I'm from Okinawa. She's from Okinawa. We're just looking out for each other. If you say so. So something doesn't seem quite right to me. I'm feeling she'll be in trouble again before long. She probably hasn't gone far now think about it. Why don't we keep an eye on her and see what happens? Come on, we don't have to do that. I guess I'll ring it ring at me up if she's in trouble again. I don't know. Don't be such a droopy dragon, Aniki. Hey, then I still young, right? We guess we got plenty more sightseeing to do. Let's go. Now she's down here. Not okay. Just pay up already. Didn't your mama ever teach you to give us give, give back stuff when you borrow it, girly? I thought I had head until next week. Dangly you do. But you and me both know you're not gonna have it by then. So, me and my boys thought we'd help you cover the difference. How? <laughs> oh, nothing too serious. Just three DC little skin flicks ought to do the trick. We'll keep it nice and anonymous, Picky promise. But Hey assholes. Get the hell away from my friend. And who the shit are you, Curly Q? Here's son's bodyguard. I'm not gonna let you take advantage of her. So what, uh, you just wanna us to clear a debt? Forget it, it never happened. For, sorry, pal, but we're not leaving until we get our green back. How much does she owe you? A big old stack to the tune of five mil. What the fuck? What? But only borrowed four million. Psst, you've heard of interest, honey. If you get out of the rules, don't play the game. There's no point following the rules when the game is rigged. Now get lost while I, I give you the old Ricky a special. Big mistake, pal. Time to learn what happens when you don't mind your own fucking business. Oh, looks I'm helping with this one. So we got three dudes to deal with. Doom, doom, da doom, da doom, doom, da doom. It's just getting ridiculous. Seriously, what the fuck do you need four million yen for, ma'am? Eat that. Damn it, we're still coming for that money, just you wait. Sorry, Nikki. I didn't mean to get you wrapped up in all this. So you've been borrowing money from a loan shark, Akio. Don't you know what happens when you get involved with thugs like that? I just don't understand. It was only 300 grand to start. Before I knew it, my dad had bad ballooned to 4 million. Things just gotten out of control. First they forced me to work at that bikini bar. Now they want me to film adult videos for them. Where's it stop? Akio, son. Sorry, Rikia. Should never have gotten you mixed up in my money problems. Just go, okay? I'll figure this out on my own. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm not going anywhere. Huh? I said I'd take care of you, right? What kind of guy would I be if I backed down when you were hurting the most? Rikia, think about this for a second. I don't want to hear it, Nikki. Me and those little sharks are going to have a little chat. See, my old man left me this his fishing boat down Okinawa. All I got to do is sell that off and I'll have all the cash you need. Oh, no. Once your debt's paid off, we can finally go home. You'll be able to start over, Kiyo-san. Rikia. And hey, that better look look lows better on you when it's uh, glistening in Okinawa sun. So promise you'll come back with me. I promise. All right. Now, first things first. Tracking down those loan sharks. Can't be serious about this, Rikia. Look, Aniki. I appreciate you trying to help or whatever, but this is my problem now. Just stay out of it, yeah? Well, I should be getting back to the club. You're not going to you're not going to wait for Ricky up. He's putting his life on the line for you here. Are you crazy? It's too dangerous for me to just stand around here. Besides, didn't Ricky tell you to stay out of this? Yeah, well, bye. Oh fuck this bitch. Ricky. I better keep tabs on that girl. I have a feeling there's more to this than meets the eye. I'll probably find her over by the bikini bar. Mmm. <laughs> 
It's nothing like that. I told you. It's just my bodyguard. <laughs> Come on, girl. You me and every other bitch on the street knows you're using him. Hold on. Isn't that a Kyo? But seriously, Nasumi, I'm like so jealous. How'd you get a brood like that to your dirty work for you? Is it just the greatest? I was kind of shocked when he told me he was from Okinawa, but it turns out he's the this guy, Rikia, he used to sit next to in middle school. Oh my god, it's just her? I mean, I mean, it is, but it's like I was thinking, but it just she's just a fucking monster. Start going on and on and on with those old stories from when we were kids. It's total snooze fest. But oh, get this. It turns out he's part of the Okinawa y Yakuza. Not only that, but he's dumb as a rock. I don't believe any sub story I tell him. What? Uh, yeah. What it was that fake name you gave him? A key or something? Where'd you even come up with that? Besides, wouldn't most guys know if their best friend is a sister? Like, get a clue, dude. Are, are you really surprised? Those yucks and thugs have brand new brains. Not so many as a man like me who's got the whole package. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah, yeah. Your, your whole package is the whole thing you ever talk about. But I'm, I'll admit, I would never would have come up with that plan on my own. Six to you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be living death, death free. <laughs> That's what that happens when you hang with a man of ideas, sweetheart. I was a real strict genius, kind that acts a fool into, into paying off your loan. What would you do without me? Fucking scams, damn it, damn you, scam people. My bank account would have few, few less zeros in it. That's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna find a donut in your club for all the drinks I bought, which means I can start spending money on you again. Mmm, and that's why I love you. What's going on here? Oh, um. Chio, or should I say Natsume? Whichever it is, you got some. You got some splaining to do. Come with me. She's not going anywhere, you fuck. Look, gives you the right to just walk up and snag some other guy's girl. All I want to do is talk to her, you dickhead. But if you're looking for a fight, I'd be glad to oblige. You left some steam. You mess with Ricky. You fucking mess with me, man. Ricky is an innocent soul, you piece of shit. Kill you. All right. You learned a lesson yet? So Ricky was right all along. You really are an Asumi. Haven't you stopped to think about how he feels in all this? What's it to you? He said he'd do whatever I wanted, and so I'm taking him up on the offer. Besides, it's none of your business. Enough excuses. Come with me. It's time you see just how far Ricky is willing to go for you. Oh my god. Aw. <laughs> You got some real coconuts coming here, lone kid. You're either out of your damn mind, or you're the bravest little shit in town. Please, I do whatever it takes to pay off on Sumi's debt. I have this fishing boat down Okinawa, though. Cover the cost. Just please give us some, me some time to sell it. And Sumi, I mean that stripper who's always blowing her cast at the host clubs. Heh, <laughs> you do you do all that just for a piece of ass, kid. You're crazy than I thought. Please, you get all five million, I promise. Yeah, you heard my ears here, kid. How about we teach him a little lesson, boys? Do it, do it. Ow, ow, ow. Ricky. Look, and assume me. Look at it. These are the legs he's willing to go to for you. I'm going to sit here and watch and not do anything either. So when you trick him like this, you aren't just playing with his emotions. You're playing with his life, you stupid bitch. I... This too earnest for his own good. When he says he'll risk his life for you, he means it. He would die if it meant keeping you safe. You're both from Okinawa, and as far as he knows, your family did his closest childhood friend. That's why he chose to trust you. But instead of accepting him for who he is, you betrayed that trust. Uh, Ricky, stop! Uh, uh, Zumi? What are you doing here? This is too dangerous for you. Um, I'm so sorry, Ricky. It's okay. I I'm taking care of the money. You don't have to cry. <laughs> well, ain't that sweet. Now you two are all nice and lovely, dummy. How about we get a little boy on girl action on tape and call the whole thing quits? What the fuck? <laughs> you sick bastard. What'd you call me? You death wish punk? Well, you came to the right guy. Rick, yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand or two if you wanted to teach these thugs a lesson. That's something you say that, Inky. If I get you too blabbing about. Sorry, but you just picked a fight with the wrong guy. I'm Rick Yashi and Bakura, captain of the Ryuta family. And once I'm through with you, you wish you never have been born. And also, I'm here too. Daddy Curious here too, and he's helping. Let's go, Ricky. Uh, together, friendship is magic. Oh man, I gotta get the fucking weapons out for these guys. Get my tally sticks. Ah, uh, Tartaco sticks or whatever. 
Ah, oh, fuck, they broke. All right, time for this. Ah, eat this, Manny. Ah, oh, bisect you with my wooden sword. Where the hell did you get that sign? I will slay all of you. Get my fists out. Shit, shit, shit. Get up. Ah, I like you. Shit, shit, shit. Just the breathing. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna smoke a cig while he settles the shit. Ah, this ain't even my sub story, bro. Rikia, yeah, I'm so sorry. I was lying to you the whole time. You see, you're my, you, you to pay off my, my debts off. Yeah, I know. Aunt, Aunt. Atashi. 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 Honto wa Natsumi. Akio nanka chan. Hai. See, I'm not as dumb as I look. Fuck you, bitch. もういいんだ。お前に東京は似合わないよ。俺と一緒に沖縄に帰ろう。夏美、お前の心配事は俺が何とかしてやる。だからもう沖縄に帰ろう。俺、キリュウの兄貴と一緒にこっちでやることがあるから、それがすべて済んだら迎えに来るから。兄貴。but I'm about to pass for Ben Niki. We'll make sure to see he gets back to the club safe and sound. Sure, go right ahead. What about that four million dollars? We didn't... You know, this guy's gonna come back again, right? Ah, oh, whatever. Fuck it. Aniki. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Seriously. I like, she's like... So she went from being like an absolute monster. She's like, ah, suddenly consciousness kicks in. All thanks to the power of Daddy Kiryu. I will say that I do actually really like these like involved sub stories. You know, they actually have like fucking cutscenes and shit. This voice act is like, damn. It's awesome. And if we can only have a few with uh with Rikia here, it's gonna they have like they're so flushed out, you know? Thanks for waiting, Nikki. Rikia. When did you figure out that was really Nasumi? Well, back when I was first handing her the panda, I, I noticed a scar on her right palm. And that's how you knew. Oh. Yep. It's from back when we were kids. She got her hand on a piece of coral when we were out and swimming together. I had to bring her to the hospital and everything. And I think I gotta tell you that the, these kind of scars don't really go away. So when I saw it on their on her hand, I instantly knew it was Natsumi. <laughs> You're more perceptive than you look, Rikia. So how about a drink? I think we both unwind a bit after all that. I'm down if you're down. Lead the way, Nikki. Ba ba ba. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was awesome. All right. I, th I think that's it. I think that's all the uh, the sub stories that I need to do with Rikia. I don't know if that's all the missable sub stories in the game too. Like, if there are any other ones I'm going to have to worry about, maybe maybe there's a couple with Haruka again. But all right, guys, I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. I enjoy that. That was that was nice. I really, again, a lot of great characterization for Rikia. I really like him, man. He's he's a cool ass dude. He's my little buddy. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already. Become Piggy Penguin. I'm the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!